Irish Army, TTC, what's going on? Big Sean here. Now this week we have the Navy Midshipmen coming to town. Uh, but before I get to my preview for this week's game, I want to give everyone a little history lesson about this. Now I know my fellow Notre Dame fans watching this, you guys already know about this. But for those of you who don't know, Navy is a, one of our rivalry teams, but it's a very special rivalry for a number of reasons. Now, this, name, this uh, rivalry was started back in World War II. Um, the Naval Academy had one of its bases located on the, uh, the University of Notre Dame campus. And uh, by doing that, it allowed Notre Dame to stay uh, financially secure throughout World War II. Now, in, in exchange for doing that, uh, Notre Dame agreed to play Navy every year in football. So hence, the Notre Dame-Navy rivalry. But this game is also special uh, for more than just that. And I don't just say this about Navy, I say this for any of the service academies, Air Force and Army as well. Anytime we get a chance to play one of, the, one of these guys, it's more than just a football game in my opinion. It's a, a great opportunity to bond with the, with the men and women who serve our country on a daily basis protecting us. And, you know, it's a lot of, I, I feel it's a lot of honor to play these teams and, you know, doesn't matter what the record is. Um, I it's it's like I said, it's a more than an honor to play you guys. And um, to all our men and women, thank thank you to you know having the guts to protect our country and uh you know make the sacrifices that you do for us. And so, with that being said, on to the game itself this weekend. Now the Navy midshipmen, they're an independent just like we are, so they don't have any conference games. But currently on the year, they're 6-3. And, three. and uh, in, my, in my opinion, their key wins come against Air Force, Wake Forest, and SMU. And uh, offensively, they average about 351 yards a game. Now here's the kicker with that stat. Passing-wise, they average 72 yards a game. Now here's a stat that I put a star next to. They average 280 yards on the ground a game. Now, the reason for that, as we all know, is Navy runs that, the deadly triple option offense. Now, the triple option offense um, is a type of offense that, um, you know, when after, uh, after the drive is over with, you'll see that it kills off a lot of time off the clock, and it's even more dangerous when, you put, when uh, your opponent who runs it puts up points against you. You know, I remember uh, back in... Uh, my high school playing days, uh, we had a similar type of offense. Had kind of like a somewhat kind of like a a wing T formation where we had three running backs, and it was the same way. Our stats would be the same as Navy's. You know, you'd look in the newspaper the next morning, you'd see somewhere like between 30, 40 passing yards. Then you look over in the other other column and see like 350 yards of rushing. So uh, Navy's the same kind of team here. Um, defensively, uh, they give up an average of 315 yards a game, and that's uh, that's spread out between the pass and run uh, pretty equally. Now, some key players for Navy are, this is a big one, quarterback Ricky Dobbs. Now, even though Navy's not a passing team, he's thrown the ball for uh, 618 yards, three touchdowns to two interceptions. Now, the fun part, their leading rushers. Um, they had a lot of a lot of different guys running the ball, but they have uh, five specific backs that have ran the ball for 200 more, uh, 200 yards or more. Now, yardage-wise, the leading rusher is Vince Murray, 638 yards, four touchdowns. But of course, the big one, quarterback Ricky Dobbs, 595 yards and 16 touchdowns alone on the ground. Now, like I said, they're not a passing team, but this young man is proven that he's a, a double threat in the air and on the ground. Um, other notables, Marcus Curry, 393 rush yards for four touchdowns, and Chris Proctor, 223 yards and five touchdowns. Now just to give some credit to the, to the receiving core and the passing game for Navy, their leading receiver is Marcus Curry, four catches, four catches 165 yards, and two touchdowns. And then behind him is um, Mario Washington, Eight catches, 144 yards. Now, Navy, 
as I've said already, they're not a slouch. This is going to be a tough game for us this weekend with the triple option offense they run. and um, You know, that offense, I don't think you can really stop it, but more or less contain it. And that's what I see happening is we have got to, that's the big thing, is we have got to contain and make a few stops from that option offense. That's going to be the key right there. And also, shutting down Ricky Dobbs, another big key. Now, uh, I said these guys are not a slouch and they're not a pushover. Well, they prove it. In their lo- the three losses that they have to Ohio State, Pittsburgh, and Temple. Ohio State, as we all remember, week one, um, came down to a two-point conversion that uh, Ohio State intercepted and ran back for two points of their own. So, and Navy ended up losing 31-27. Pittsburgh, who we, ha- who we have after this game, they only lost to them 27-14. to So they st- that, mean, that shows they stuck around for a while. And then Temple, they lost to them by 3, 27-24. So that just goes to show that this, this team is very tough, and they're not going to back down. They're going to they're gonna give us a game this weekend, I think. But um, honestly, what I, what I see happening this week is, you know, no disrespect to Navy, but I don't think they've seen a, a pass attack like ours all season long. And I just the way Jimmy's been playing, the way Golden Tate's been playing, and the defense making making key plays these past few weeks, I see our pass attack being a little too much for them to handle. And I see us winning this game 30-17. to 17. That's my final prediction. Um, you know, because Navy's going to put up points on us. You know, I mean, there's there's no... I, don't, I do not see a shutout happening. Navy's going to put up some points on us. I mean, it's just it's just a given with the, with the triple option offense. So, um, so yeah, 30-17 to 17, Notre Dame. That's my final prediction. Um, before I go... Um, I have a little uh, little message to my cousin Jane. Uh, Jane, if you're watching this, um, it's officially Tuesday as I'm taping this video, so uh, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, and uh, I hope you have a good day today. So, um, yeah, happy birthday, Jane. Um, with that being said, uh, to my fellow Irish Army members and to the TTC, this is Big Sean, and I'll catch you guys later this week for another video that I have in mind. So, uh, you guys take it easy, and... Go Irish, baby!